So how does marketing translate to the retail world? First off, you have two P's that I believe translate over to retail more than anything, people and product. Retail is described as a system in which a retailer sells a product directly to the customer instead of like a wholesaler or an online company that just sells a product that someone else pushes. They can't make a profit if they don't have customers coming to their store directly to buy it. And the two P's that I believe are important, people and product, are because one, customer service is important in a place where customers have to come to the store, they have to feel treated fairly. Product is important because you have to be consistently putting things on the shelves and consistently putting out products for people to choose from. You have to update it constantly for people to feel like the market's fresh and for them to keep coming to your store. Now, there's two specific types of retail markets that have different caveats between the two. You have specialty markets, which are things like antique stores, butcher shops, pawn shops, and things such as this. Their focus would be more, I would say, customer service because these are people that know what they want, so they're coming to the retailer to get a specific product. And what that means is customer service will be a little bit important because that's when I, what's going to keep them coming back. The other important uh, aspect of retail is your supermarkets. These are places like grocery stores that put a lot of products out on the shelves. And the basis of this is you want to keep a fresh line of products consistently updated and consistently bring new things to the table when they come out because your quantity of products and the quality of it is what's gonna keep people coming back. Those are the two most important aspects of retail and that's how marketing boils down in the retail world.